pregnancy and uh, as per WHO, um, India is the most common country where we find maximum anemic women and uh, 20 to 40 percent of maternal deaths are due to anemia in India. That is the sad part. Anemia broadly means uh, less hemoglobin, reduced hemoglobin and WHO has given a cutoff of hemoglobin uh, of 11 grams or under as anemia. So anything less than 7, we, 7 grams we grade as severe anemia. Now the ideal thing given the incidence of anemia is so high in India, what is the best thing to do for a woman is to uh, uh, correct her anemic status before planning pregnancy. So if you start off with a good reserve, pregnancy will go smoothly. So what will happen if women don't recognize their anemic, if women don't know uh, that they are anemic and they find themselves already pregnant, what should they do, what are the risks to the baby. So this hemoglobin is very important to carry oxygen to all the tissues. Hemoglobin is a pigment that is there in the red blood cells. If the hemoglobin itself is less then the oxygen that is carried to all the tissues including placenta including the baby will be reduced. So the baby in theory will not grow well it will become small for uh, gestational age weights, so low birth weight babies and uh, the, all the nutrients that are supposed to reach the baby for its growth will not reach if this is less. So we can prevent all this by taking certain precautions. One, plan your uh, pregnancy well, check that you are uh, not anemic in the first place and suppose you have become pregnant already, do the test that the doctor has advised you because every doctor, uh, the best way to find out whether you are anemic or not is by doing a complete blood picture. So identify the problem early on in the pregnancy so you can do something about it. So what are the symptoms, how can a woman know if she didn't do a blood test, how can she tell she is anemic, she will have certain symptoms like she feels very tired, she feels unduly fatigued after a small work. She, she is irritable, she cannot concentrate on anything and even with a little exertion she becomes breathless. So this uh, feeling of extreme exhaustion is a symptom of anemia. So that's when at least go to the doctor, get your hemoglobin checked. Apart from hemoglobin, there is also vitamin B12 and folic acid. Iron, B12, folic acid, all three are very important for the growth of any rapidly growing cells like the fetal tissue. It has to build day by day to reach a mature baby by the end of 9 months. So all three vitamins you can get through good diet. So our dietitian will give an advice as to what should be included in the diet to cover these three ingredients. So do the test and if you are found to be anemic, make sure you take your iron supplements regularly as directed by the doctor. And in your diet, iron rich foods must be included like leafy vegetables, dry fruits, uh, jaggery. Um, uh, be beetroot, you know, any colored vegetables, all these and if you are non-vegetarians, uh, meat products and fish, they are all rich in iron, whole wheat, pulses, all these are rich in iron. So make sure you include this, take the uh, iron and vitamin tablets as advised properly and get your hemoglobin checked periodically to make sure it reaches the uh, appropriate level, otherwise you are putting your baby at risk because baby won't grow properly, baby will be born with less weight and after that baby will have lot of difficulties to overcome, to breathe, to eat, to uh, uh, grow properly. So the, it is the mother's responsibility to ensure that she starts off at a uh, good level of hemoglobin.